What's up? It's the big homie. Y'all know who it is. So I ain't gonna tell you who it is because y'all already know. So anyway, um, I have something on my mind. Uh, I won't be before you long. When I was younger, um, as I said before, I went to church all the time. But it's one thing that I used to hear all the time that God wants a personal relationship with everybody. Now that I've got older, I was thinking, do we really have a personal relationship with God? I said that because relationships are different. I can give you I can give you 20 successful relationships. And out of those 20 different relationships, all 20 of them do things differently. Not because it's right or wrong, it's what works for them. So sometimes if God so if God wants a personal relationship with us, it should be like my relationship with Christ should be the same as your relationship with Christ. But sometimes we think like, this is my relationship with Christ. I've been saved for like 30 years, so somebody else's relationship is different. So I'm going to turn my nose and be like, no, you're not saved. No, their relationship is just different than yours is. So if that, if I take it like this. Let's say if you have a personal chef. Let's say I like hamburgers and hot dogs. And I said, this chef's the truth. So... So now, I want you. I'm gonna take the chef to your house. So you come to your house, and but you just you just know that I have hamburgers and hot dogs. So you eat hamburgers and hot dogs. You don't really like hamburgers and hot dogs, but you just do that because I'm the person chef. So, but the chef can make anything. But that's the same thing with Christianity. When people come to church, we tell somebody this is what you have to do to be saved. But God, like, nah, I don't need it. I want a personal relationship with you. So now it's not more or less you're not having a relationship with Christ. What are you doing? You're just mocking somebody else's life. So again, do we really have a personal relationship with God? Because like I said, he wants you on a personal level. Not, he don't want you to do what everybody else wants to do. Now you could take parts from other people's lives and assert it, and then you make your personal relationship with Christ. But for you to just... Uh, Follow somebody step by step. You might get saved, but at the same time, I don't think that you're going to get the true essence of the relationship with God. Because he wants you on a personal level. It's like if you go to um, church, let's just say that you're a person that you like Christian rock or Christian um, rap like me or... Christian bluegrass or Christian any genre, but you go to a church and they sang worship music and you're not feeling the worship music, not you know, then they be like, You're not saved because you're not singing the worship songs. It's not that. It's like that's not me. Or that might not be the other person. But but you bring the Christian rap or the Christian rock, whatever genre you listen to, you can praise God that way. So you and somebody may turn your nose and say, you're not praising God my way. That means you're not praising God. It doesn't go that way because if you have a personal relationship with God, that's your way to worship Him. You don't have to say a worship song. You know what I'm saying? It could be anything. You can worship Him your own way, but for somebody to say that you have to worship God a particular way, you're handcuffed because you're not really having a personal relationship with God. So again... If you want a personal relationship with God, find out what you like. And then we find out what you like. Then you can worship God and the things that you like. And then you will have a personal relationship with God. I hope this made some sense to somebody. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace!